diagonally backward, but yeah. <laughs> Now, this is our first little area. It's weird to get dropped in here without an immediate means to go back. Bonfire. Okay, um, straight down. I'll pass her and I'll banish myself with the boss if you want. I should set a matchmaking password. That way people that watch my stream want to find me can. You see that password? I say if you figure it out, I'll be able to see your sign. I'm just kind of looking around here. There sure are a lot of them. Uh, what region are you in also? That shouldn't be a problem though. Uh, matchmaking should be on. North America? Yeah, we shouldn't have any trouble connecting then. Oh, you're on PC. <laughs> Ha 
That might be the issue. <laughs> you only have the game on PC? Ooh, big, giant guy. This is definitely a game, in my opinion, that should have cross-region play, or cross-platform. Anything you got other than your PC's uh, Nintendo Switch? The funny thing is, I do actually have this on PC, but it's not as stream and record friendly to play on that. Oh, the player account? Is it low? I mean, I am planning to do some runs on PC, too. I actually recently bought this game for the PC, like, mostly for the modding capability. Pretty low on PC, you can still find players, but nothing like it used to be. So we can't. Is it sticking back to where I was? PC would be the best platform if it wasn't for like for hackers and the fact that it's not very heavily populated. Other than that, though, perfect. Uh, I was trying to blast. Now that was the problem, guy. He was going to spawn into that horrifying black thing. Longbow. Fourteen decks. Lots of invaders, huh? It's because of how easy it is. They only do save checks every Tuesday or Wednesday, so you can hack all week, all week as long as you don't log on that day. So the bow, is that all that's up here? All right. It's been a while, I don't remember where everything actually is.
Huh. A lot of people on my most because most of the time hackers just troll and don't actually hack to win like most games. Well, you can die. Soul of a deserted corpse. I feel pretty soul hungry right now. <laughs> Just killing a bunch of innocent guys that don't need to be killed. Suddenly it takes like two hits to kill these guys. Oh, I see you, buddy. Nice ambush. Binoculars. They're hollow, they're too far gone to care. <laughs> and I guess that's all that's up here. care after you give them a whack though, huh? <laughs> that is a nice ambush. I can't do anything with that right now. Thought it was interesting. I imagine that does made these passive guys to represent the players that lost everything and quit the game. I actually never thought about that, but now that you say that, there probably is something to that. Uh, go under. Right. There it is. Gold pine resin, baby. Yeah, that would be an interesting artistic expression, actually. The thing I really like about Japanese storytelling is they tend to subversively tell a deep truth without throwing it in your face. The reason I really like I me mean, aside from Tiggle Biddies. Shields. Oh, 
Goodbye. Oh, you. Where's finding corp souls at the moment? Yeah, there's a bonfire up here, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Another Titanite Shard. Nothing up there. Be wary of a liar. I have to let that guy walk away. Three more firebombs. Be wary of tongue but hole. Got a bit greedy. Oh, yeah. One of the least subtle jokes of the entire series.
the dark axe is in here, isn't it? Ah, don't do it. So there's a bit for a chat delay. Yeah, the chat delay is kind of chat delay is kind of necessary though. Otherwise, the stream get really buffery. seconds? Shouldn't be that bad. Uh, I think it should be like around 20 seconds. I have a 10 second built in and then the delay itself should be like another 10 or 15 on Twitch's back end. in the backstab is really easily. Club.
And play more. This doesn't seem like it was worth it. But maybe maybe it was. Given that we have a a strength build hopping. Let's go back to the shrine here quick. Yeah, a lot of streamers, a lot of streamers are really obsessed with getting high quality and um, low latency. And while that looks and sounds great. It can also cause a lot of buffering. A lot of buffering issues. And actually, quality is one of the big reasons why I stream at 30 frames per second. Because um, to have the thing look, have the game look serviceable in 60 would require me to stream at um, four to 5,000 K, which is just basically all of my upstream it just isn't something that is a good idea for me to do um, what else do we claymore needs 13 decks usually a large and heavy great sword normally built with two hands it's how the Crystal weapon can be swung broadly or thrust or thrusted. <laughs> Excuse me. And the club is a straight strength weapon. Take nourishment from the Take nourishment. Yeah, getting just enough decks to use something like a claymore is probably a good idea. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flame. Alright, uh, let's go over here now. Ah, what is good to see ye and good what needs smithing. Four hundred twenty, huh? Maybe I don't want to say. <laughs> All right then. Well, uh, ah, it is good to see what need. So we can go 137 plus 21 on the battle axe. Or we can do a split damage of 218 with the dark weapon. Why not? Pretty be careful, I don't want to see my works. <laughs> <laughs> Tower on the high wall. Now we need to work our way in a little bit. My fellow Lord Seeker, I'm a traveling dealer who wants to share his stuff. Have you any place to share? Uh, 
the homemade. Oh, I got that block up just in time. Better axe or a shield. I mean, thanks for the offer, but I'm probably going to find all my stuff on my own. Shouldn't have any trouble finding everything. I've played this game a few times. Hmm. What's in your favor? That's a nice slide. Oh. Thank you for being unbelievably slow. That door is locked. And go in here. Throwing knives. Oh, that hurt. Nail breaker. That is. Yeah, it's a thrusting sword. Shield splitter. It can pierce through shields, but it doesn't do a whole lot of damage, so. Oh, there's an ambush. See, if you look on the wall, you can see their uh, their hands. Oh. Uh, we can't, we actually can't get in here yet. Maybe on later bosses. Oh boy. One of these reacts and attempts. Fire bombs. Um, I will go my way then. Raw gem. Oh, couldn't you give me a fire gem? 
dang damn. Oh man, that's a long way in. Well, I'll let you know, Darkerus. But uh, thank you for stopping by on the stream. Whoa. Uh, I'm going to need to get rid of you. And don't think I didn't see you. I mean, I saw him sneak up, but I did a horrible job of handling it. Oh, that's the ambush room back there. And we have a letter down. I don't think I could have possibly made much more noise than that. Undead Hunter Charm. I would have liked to find that five minutes ago. Could have used that to get a bunch of free hits on the Mimic. Be wary of strike. Alright, um... our guard anyway. Lothric Knight Great Shields. Thirty-six strength, sixty-four stability. That looks like a decent shield. Although it takes a lot to use it. Broadsword, um, straight sword with a broad blade designed for striking. The large sweeping attack makes this effective against crowds, but is prone to deflection from walls and narrow spaces. It's your basic, it's your basic swingy sword. Looks like we can go from there down below. Um, we can also... Kind of work our way below. Oh, fun.
Um, you're still here, Sly Fox. Um, I'm gonna ask a question of um, if password restricting leads to um, The path password restricting effects and evasions to no one's not mimicked. Silver Eagle Kite Shield. Make sure we're not being stalked. Boy, he did some decent damage. Burning you. Raw gem. All right. This floor looks relatively looty. Tech Knight Shard. Doggo. Cell key, there we go. That's actually Estes Shard. Interesting angle. Yeah, I feel like exploration is fine just because. There's a way down to that platform, but I don't see any reason to plunge to it. If we continue on, I think we actually find other item filled ways down. So we get some black fire bulbs just by kind of walking down here. First benefit. Um, also, I want to just test falling onto that platform.
Oh, another chest. A store a straight sword. With a uh, 12 faith requirement. Well crafted sword named after a ruined land. The store before its fall was a land replete with royal blood. This weapon is both a reminder and an heirloom of that era. We need more faith points. To be able to wield that weapon. Plenty of stuff to go back for. Have to turn our exploration glasses on a little bit. Don't mind me, I'm just looking around a bit. So, I think it's free to come back down here, and that everything down here is dead. That's locked. We did pick up keys to sell holding thieves and the like. Ah. You no jailer, are you? No, no, you're from far away. And judging by the bell, you must be some of that unkindled ash. Remarkable. If that's true, then I have a favor to ask. Below the high wall is a musty little town. Not the home of any lord, just a, a very old settlement of undead. An old woman, Loretta, lives there. Please, give her this ring. I, I'm not asking for charity. In fact, in fact, if you do this for me, I'll be sure to repay you in kind. I, I may be a petty thief, but I've more wits than most royalty. What do you say then? Huh? Well, yeah. Very well. I humbly place my faith in you. I am Grey Rat of the Undead Settlement, and I promise to assist you. Give this ring to old Loretta at the base of the high wall. Do your part and I'll do mine. Okay. Blue Tearstone Ring. Ring some of the large rare Tearstone Jewel. Temporarily boost damage absorption when HP is low. The stone is said to be a tear of sorrow, but that is Kippy, and of course, tears are always more beautiful than your death. And we have no other rings to wear, so I might as well just put it on.
And we really don't have anything to do at the moment, but head back up. Back to the Firelink Shrine. All right, I'll do for this part. We'll explore some of the lore we've unlocked here in the next part. As well as um, try to finish the Lothic area itself. 